What is going on guys? WTF1 here at the World Endurance Championship, or WEC you may know it as. We're here today in a blustery Silverstone. It's my first time actually coming to see this sport in the flesh. I've watched it a little bit on television, but not too much. So this video might be a bit of a dummy's guide to WEC. Let's go and have a look at the garages and see what teams are in the WEC. Here we are at the final few corners and not many cars coming through right now so you might be able to hear me and the noise. My God, the noise is so good. So you've got four different categories in this wonderful World Endurance Championship. You've got the LMP1, the LMP2, and then you've got the GTM and then the GT Pro classes. So the GTM is basically like an amateur class, amateur they call it, where they get rated and they can put a certain amount of drivers. So you've got three drivers in each category and you've got for the amateur class, you can put like a certain amount, so they're bronze, silver, gold, or platinum, and you can have to put a certain amount of rating into them or something. Uh, then you've got the pro class, where you can put any racing driver in. The, the AM class is where they have to have a one-year-old spec car or older. Uh, and then you've got the LMP1 and LMP2. So those cars are the fastest, LMP1 being the fastest. I guess if you want to put it in Formula One terms, LMP1 are the Ferraris and the Mercedes of this world, whereas the LMP2 classes aren't as quick, uh, and maybe the Sauber's and the Manor, which unfortunately isn't in Formula 1 anymore. They all seem to be coming to the pits now, so I think it's the end of free practice one, but this and the sound is beautiful. After free practice, we sat down to watch the Formula V8 series, the support series of the WEC and also the ELMS, which stands for European Le Mans series, which is a four hour race. It's also worth mentioning the amazing access you can get as a normal ticket holder during a WEC weekend, being able to go inside the circuit, explore the wing and also go on a pit walk during the day. We were lucky enough to spend some of the day with Aston Martin and take a look around their garage, which gave a WEC dummy like me a fantastic insight to the sport. This is just such a cool day, I'm not going to lie. The, uh, I'm, obviously, I've never seen these cars in the flesh before. I've seen pictures of them now and again. I've never, if I'm being honest, truly been sort of interested in, in the WEC, but uh, having a look at the, around the tracks and areas that you wouldn't normally see and the cars themselves. Oh, let's have a look at this one. Just into turn one. Just absolute commitment. It's just, it's just so quick. Like the downforce in these cars are insane. You know that the Porsche is a V4 hybrid and it, ma it makes that noise. The LMP yeah. is a V4. V4. What does it turn it into with the hybrid? Like the power of a V8 or something? Or? Yeah, roughly. I mean, it's got like, I think just under a thousand horsepower. Yeah. From oh, the... a thousand horsepower is a V4. <laughs> Mental, right? Are you sure that's definitely true? I was in the, 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 the Porsche Hospitality yeah. and it came up with all the specs. It said V4. V4 hybrid. For the LMP1. Yeah. Wow. After the WEC qualifying, we caught up with the GTE Pro driver for Aston Martin, Johnny Adam, who gave us a tour of the garage, some information on the car and the series as a whole. Welcome to Aston Martin Racing. Uh, this is our GTE car, our Aston Van Martin Vantage, uh, powered by a V8 engine, 4.7 litre, uh, around about 500 brake horsepower, give or take, depending on uh, the balance performance. The dry weight of the car um, is about just over 1,100 kilos, um, but we balance that up uh, depending on championship regulations. But let me show you a little bit behind the scenes. So at the moment, we've just done qualifying. So at the moment, the guys are doing a lot of preparation for tomorrow's six hour race. If we look just on the ground here, you could see the big diffuser. Normally this, this sits just under the rear bumper here, creating a lot of downforce uh, and giving us drivers a lot of confidence to carry good speed uh, into the corner, um, especially with the rear stability. The fuel cell sits just here in the middle of the car. Normally every stop will put fuel in the car. It could be a short fuel stop or it could be a full tank fuel because we could be in these cars for up to three hours at a time. In our driver change, we're trying to do a driver change anywhere between 19 and 25 seconds. So we have to be as slick as possible getting in and out of the car um, as fast as we can. Inside the car, we have air conditioning, um, but we're okay this weekend. It's quite a cool weekend at Silverstone, but in Austin, for example, it could be well over 40 degrees inside the car. So we try and do as much hydration as we can before we get in the car. And we could lose anywhere up to two kilos of body fluid on a, on a hot race weekend. We use Paget as our brake supplier. Um, so obviously we have 
you know, we do a lot with Paget to make sure the brakes are good, but good all the way through the race. Six hour race this weekend, but for Le Mans, we'll only do the one brake change. For the front of the car, just your common thing, we have headlights that we always have to run all the time, even in daylight. Um, and at Le Mans, for the dark race, in Austin as well, potentially, in Bahrain, we'll use the front headlights, just to give us a little bit more visibility. If you look closely, in, in the front here, the engine sits as low as possible, but if you look, the engine sits as far back as we can, just to get a nice weight distribution. We're looking at about a 50-50 split, just to help on balance, and also just to give us, the drivers, as much feel as we can on a, on a weight distribution. A lot of electronics inside the car. The championship has what we call racing loggers that they run inside the car, but basically all the telemetry, all the data that we receive, the championship receive as well. So they scrutinize all the cars to make sure the cars are as closely balanced as possible from a lap time to a consistency, just to make the racing in this class, GT Pro, as close as possible between Aston, Ferrari, Porsche, and Ford as well. So. It works very, very well. We have a rear view camera inside the car as well. I'll show you where that comes from. And it is literally, it's a little camera that sits on the hood around about here that gives us a little bit more view because obviously we have a, a central mirror, but it's also nice to have an extra camera. And it's a regulation thing that we have to have. But I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes in the garage. Main data station. This is where all the telemetry gets live fed from the cars back here. We've got everything on. There's a race on at the moment, a European Le Mans race, where we can see the races live on TV, but more importantly, we've got all the timing screens, um, all the splits, everything. And the engineers will sit here and divulge all the way through the data from when we're on track. So if there's a, any issue from a driving aspect, from an engine aspect, anything at all, the guys can highlight this from all the telemetry that comes through here. So it's. Uh, yeah, quite state that stuff. Our tyre partners Dunlop, uh, we work very close with them. We could be running on this tyre for potentially two hours this weekend, so we work very close with them. You can see in the back, we've got quite a few slick tyres. We've had a dry day today, but we have tyre ovens. So these ovens here are quite special for this weekend. They try, they get the tyre temperature up to about anywhere between 80 and 100 degrees. For us, the drivers, it's lovely because you get nice warm tyres at all times, especially when you head out the pits for your first stint of the race. You've always got warm tyres. So this is our home from home, pretty much. So everything gets carried here. We've got a full hospitality unit for all our guests and our, our team. Got quite a few team members in, you know, on all three cars, so we try and uh, cater for everyone. It's one big team, so we're, uh, we're aiming for a good result this weekend, and uh, let's see what we can do at our home event. There we have it, WTF1 has done the World Endurance Championship for today. It's been a fantastic day, spending it with Aston Martin for a little bit as well, taking a look around their garage, speaking to Johnny Adam. It's been a great day, I've learned a lot. I'm Matt with WTF1, we're out of here. This is the big one. We're going to be karting here at Milton Keynes Daytona, myself versus Alex yeah! Kirsten. <laughs> That's all. all right. And we've also got a special guest with us today, Callum Ilott. F3 driver who is going to help me to hopefully beat Alex, although we'll both be getting tips from, uh, from Callum. And who's going to be the fastest one? Myself, WTF1, 